Alright lads, quite clearly, we're back. Now I say we. First time Jenny's been on the channel in quite a long time. A year, a year and a half. Easy. The last time that she was on Pret the Six, most likely. Obviously, she's been on Match Day vlogs since then, but a bit different than the kind of whole sit down, predicting football games type content. It's back once again. Pret the Six was a cornerstone on this channel back mm. in the day. You used to be on here every single week, and now you're going to be back until the end of the season, at the very least. Two months. Committed? Committed. Fully. It's going to kind of change up a bit. Obviously, we had the kind of spinning wheel stuff before and it was a bit different. We got to choose the games that we predicted as well. This time round, as you can see by the lovely thing on my right-hand side right now, we've got four boxes. Currently, only two are active because they're the only leagues that are currently playing. But the premise will be that we dive into whatever box we choose. And for example, you could go into the Premiership one, pull out a team, Livingston, and that'll be the game that you're predicting, whatever team Livingston are playing. And then you predict that game and you get points based on that. Before you predict the game, I will ask a question about the team that has been picked out. So if it was Livingston, Jenny would potentially ask me what colour the Livingston play in. I assume you'll make the questions harder for me than I will for you. I'll try, but I'll need some of the answers. <laughs> They'll only be silly questions. Okay. So that's the kind of premise of it. You get a bonus point if you get the question right and then you go out and make your prediction. If you get the exact prediction right, like 2-0 Livingston, then you get three points. If you get a Livingston win, then you get one point. So you get two points if you got the question and that right and so on and so forth. It will then, of course, build up into a bit of a league table, competitiveness between me and Jenny, and it will come in to this. Another trophy on the channel this is in fact the Ghoul Team Gym Open 2015 Level 4 Youth Slash Junior Gymnastics Trophy. But now it's been rebranded as the Predict the Six Trophy as we threw last year's one out. We. RIP <laughs> GBNF. Now we have this trophy with David Marshall on the front of it. One to show the grandkids. It'll be an honour to win at the end of the season, put it that way. I think I won last time, didn't I? I think so. Yes. <laughs> Right, so without further ado, let's dive right into it. And do you want to go first? Do I go first? We'll do rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I think I'll let you go first. Right. I am going to choose a game from the Scottish Championship. I'll not look, of course, just in case can I see any team. Dive right in. What team is that? Arbroath. Arbroath. So Arbroath are playing Dundee. However, as I said, there's going to be a wee quiz question before it. So Jenny, what would you like to ask me about Arbroath? We will start off easy. Right. What accessory does the manager wear? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I've not got mine spare. It's a bonnet. Yes. Correct. Right. One point. So that's one point on the board. And it is Dundee playing our both so it's at the Kilmac Stadium at Dens Park. I'm going to go for a Dundee win here. I'm not going to back our both Even though they've been doing well, clearly they're, they're not far off Dundee in the league table, actually. One of the form teams in 2021, our both are. And Dick Campbell's just won the Championship Manager of the Month. So, well done to the man. Go on, Dick. What's what you're saying, man? Dick's around, eh? <laughs> Aye. So, I'll go for a Dundee win. Score, I'll go for a 2-1 Dundee win so if I get that right 3 points if I get it right in terms of just the result 1 point plus the point you've just won yes correct oh mundo where would you be without me? no idea <laughs> no idea my turn which league are you going to plunk for? I'm going to go for the Scottish Premiership oh sorry I was going to show you first Aberdeen they've just lost their manager just a little hint there's the question, actually. What was the Aberdeen previous manager's first name? And it started with a D. I'll give you that. I've got two names in my head here. Derek and David. Right. I'm going to go with David. Oh, no. Was it Derek? It was Derek. Oh. <laughs> Derek McInnes. Right. Oh, I don't know who that is. Well, no bonus point for Jenny. However, Aberdeen are playing Dundee United. Oh. At Dundee United. So, what is your prediction for that game? So, that I know that like Dundee United were doing like really well. 
She obviously means last season when they won the league. Yes, when they got promoted and stuff. Yeah. But I got just a feeling in me that they're not doing that well. I remember that she doesn't know that much about football. <laughs> so, for old time's sake, I'm going to say that Derek's team's going to win. Derek's old team. Yeah, so for old time's sake, that's why I said ah, old. Right. Mm. <laughs> clever, clever, clever. So I'm going to say that Aberdeen's going to win and I'm going to say that they're going to win 3-2. That's a hoory game. <laughs> so, who are you choosing? I'm going to go for a Scottish Premiership game. Dundee United. <laughs> well, well, ask me a question first to get the bonus point. Oh, yes. Which two players from Dunfermline are currently at Dundee United? I've got two in my head. I don't know if they're still there. I'm going to go for the two that I think you mean. Paul McMillan and Nicky Clark. Yes. Uh, no, I meant no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need that point. <laughs> so, Dundee United versus Aberdeen, as we've already established in this video. I'll go for a Dundee United win because Aberdeen are without a manager. So, I'm using that side exactly, of things. so they can score as many goals as they want. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Dundee United to win 1-0. That's what I'm going for. So I'm going to go with Scottish Championship. <laughs> Morton. Morton. Morton are playing Dunfermline. Wow. Well, oh, wow. Morton have just appointed a new manager. His name starts with a G and it's a short name. Gav. Relatively. <laughs> Gus. 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 <laughs> Gus McPherson. I'm filming versus Morton. It's at East End Park. Prediction. Right. So I take this one seriously because I normally get the predictions right. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm going to say that... I'm filming just going through 10 days of players being out through COVID. We have to win. Stop putting stuff in my head. <laughs> Morton are unbeaten in the last three games against us. Right. So I'm going to say Morton's going to win. Brilliant. And they're going to win... 2-1. Fantastic. Right, I'm going to delve into the Scottish Championship once Third again. Third and final. Hearts, hearts, glorious hearts. What a rendition of that song, dear. What question? I'm just going to ask um, <laughs> who the manager is. <laughs> I'm taking all these facts into my head, so when I pick the person, mm -hmm. he'll can ask me now, I'll remember. It's Robbie Nielsen, of course. I knew that one. A bit of a bell end, if... You really want to know that. Hearts versus Air is the game in question. I'm going to go for a Hearts win. Hearts have barely lost at Tynecastle this season. I think they've lost once. And they've barely conceded any goals. Air did score two goals, I believe. Maybe three. Last time they were at Tynecastle. I'm still going to go for a uh, Hearts win here. I'll go for... 2-1 Hearts. There you go. And your final pick, darling. I'm going to go for a Premiership one. Right. You'll need to put it back, it's Aberdeen again. Oh Christ. Motherwell. What colour do they play in? They do have two colours in their kits, but if you can get one of them, I'll give you it. Motherwell play in maroon and gold. Claret yeah. and amber. And it's, it's the exact same. So I'll give you it. Bonus point. There you go. Do you think I was going to come up with Claret and Amber? I've given you it anyway. So <laughs> I know, but come on. Oh. Anyway, they're playing Kilmarnock, so predict that game. I'm going to go with the Motherwell win because I think they're in the top four. Five. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Both these teams are in the bottom half. All right, and who's on top of that one? I would say Motherwell's the better team. Okay, so we're going to go with the Motherwell win. Um, I'm going to say... I'm going to go with a 2-0 to Motherwell. Right. Any reasoning? I feel like I've done a lot of high predictions, so I right. felt like I had to have a nil in there somewhere. Right. Like a solid win. Mm -hmm. Right, well, we'll see how all these predictions turn out. I believe I got all of my wee bonus questions correct. You I got... got one. Two. Two. No. No. One. One. So, you've got <laughs> one point, I've got three points so far. Bit unfair. Might be a bit unfair. Mm -hmm. 
who's the manager of this club? Who's the manager of this club? Oh, who was the ex-manager of this club? <laughs> <laughs> Not what colour do they play in? You need to be tested. But anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed the wee comeback of Brit the Six. And I videos will be continuing. Basically every Friday we'll upload this and a regular feature. Yes, and let's try to get on average how many likes do your video get? Oh, I don't know, maybe like 20, 30. Let's get 36 likes on this video for the return of Predict the Six. Thanks Jenny once again for coming on. It's quite alright. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. See ya!